In September 2019, deadly wildfire started to rage through Australia. And since then, at least 27 people died. More than 2,000 homes are destroyed, and according to an expert, almost 480 million animals have been killed by the bush fires in Australia. This is one of the most horrible disastrous incident. But what is the real cause behind it? Australia goes through a season, known as fire season during their warmer months because the hot, dry weather and wind makes it easy for flames to spread. The bush fires are often started by natural causes, such as lightning strikes. However, humans and even birds are also sometimes to blame. We previously did a video on fire hawks, that how some birds, carry fire with their beaks, and deliberately spread fire. You can find the link of that video in the description. Even though, this year the combination of record-shattering heat of 43 degrees centigrade and strong winds has caused the fires to spread. However, back in November, a 51-year-old man by the name of Gavin James Gardiner was arrested for allegedly starting fire, which destroyed more than 5,400 hectares, in order to protect his marijuana plants. Scientists say that climate change is the actual cause of natural disasters like this. According to the country's Bureau of Meteorology, temperatures have risen by more than 1 degree Celsius since 1920, with much of the increase taking place since 1950. This year, dry lightning was responsible for starting a number of fires in Victoria's East Gippsland region in late December, which then travelled more than 20 kilometres in just five hours. And in total, more than 7.3 million hectares have been burned across Australia's six states. The fire has caused large amount of smoke. Satellite images released by NASA last week show Australia hidden beneath a blanket of smoke. Australians are now breathing toxic bush fire smoke. Health experts say that they will have to wait years to know what long-term health impacts they may suffer. These plumes of smoke are not limited to Australia. New images show that it's coming for the entire Southern Hemisphere atmosphere. Firefighters battle bushfires around the town of Nowra, New South Wales. There are more than 2,000 firefighters working on the ground in New South Wales alone, and more support is on the way. The United States, Canada, and New Zealand have also sent additional firefighters to help. There is also fundraising, people are giving huge amount of donations in order to help extinguish the fire. The head of the RFS, Shane Fitzsimmons said, allocating the extraordinary influx of donations from the public, now into the tens of millions of dollars, would be a challenge for the organization. People are also working to rescue wild animals from bush fires. The Irwin family has saved more than 90,000 animals, including many injured in the Australia wildfires. Wildlife expert Professor Wojnarski said, that the wildlife ravaged by Australian fires could take decades to recover. When will the fires end? Unfortunately, Australia is only just entering its summer season. Normally, temperatures peak in January and February, meaning the country could be months away from finding relief. That's it for this video, if you liked this video give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.